What is happening everyone? Welcome back to a brand new episode from And underneath a dragon tree for the first time Check out the beauty Many do consider Socotra being a good viewing point of what our planet looked like way way back in the day because the island of Socotra has been separated by the continent so many years ago and everything formed or remained as it used to be. First stop of the day, the largest freshwater lagoon here on the island of Socotra. And actually they have flamingos here as well. I'm gonna zoom in as much as I can. They're white flamingos, so no colorful algae here in order for them to change the, the color of the feathers. There they are. Grainy, but uh, at least you see flamingos. Yeah, I had no idea there were flamingos on the island of Socotra. And as of now, probably the most impressive thing are the mountains. I mean, I knew there were mountains in Socotra, but I have not seen photos with the mountains so grand. Check that out. And the first sight of a dragon tree, check out that beauty right there, superb. The flora of the island of Socotra is just outstanding all throughout. I mean you have seen in the footage leading towards the mountains and the frankincense trees right here all throughout these were way way popular back in the day Oman the eastern coast of Africa they were packed with frankincense trees and underneath a dragon tree for the first time check out the beauty So yeah, this is simply surreal. Been waiting for this moment for so long, seeing a beautiful dragon tree surrounded by the beautiful mountains of Socotra for so long. Like I said, this has been my top three destinations probably for five, six years now. Finally made it. Superb. Let's go and check out more of the landscape. Turning the camera around. Everywhere you look, everywhere it's a photo, a video opportunity. Just mind-blowing. Those are the three SUVs that we have with us. We're gonna be camping for the next five days. This is how a dead dragon tree looks like. Not sure exactly what happened to it, but all the branches are on the ground. The skin of the there's a road is unbelievably soft mini baobab and one of the things that i said i'm going to capture is a desert rose in front of the humongous dragon tree the interesting part about the desert rose is that every single one of them is unique you won't see two alike and here we have a young desert rose in a rock pretty much on the side of the rock guys so this is the 
inception process. So another intriguing thing about the dragon tree. Check out this. I have not seen them, but these are seashells on the dragon tree itself. So at times I have no idea what to use, my little camera, my phone, my big camera, my drone. I got all the equipment with me, but uh, it's just in awe, you know, I mean, you're, you're, at times you just feel like watching, viewing the landscape, you know, just breathing everything in. But uh, yeah, at the same time, you want to make as many memories and as many photos as, and videos as possible. But yeah, it's a, it's a mix of feelings being on the island of Socotra, just knowing that it takes you know a little bit of risk it takes a little bit of uh, money as well it takes a little bit of time in order to reach these landscapes the unique landscapes things that you can find only on this small little semi-autonomous island met you in august new york back to my cold apartment distance sucks but at least i'm still with you Doing a little bit of a trek here to one of the lagoons in the mountains and the journey starts through a little forest of desert road trees. And of course, everywhere we go, you cannot escape the goats. And all throughout the mountains, going towards the pool. Dragon trees. This is simply unbelievable. The wind is starting to pick up a little bit. But man, this is just mind-blowing. Thousands of years old. The landscape formed in a unique way, giving us the Socotra that we have today with its unique trees, with its unique flora all throughout and fauna. I have not showed you guys much of the eagles that we have here besides the goats. Yeah, there are a whole bunch of eagles, but yeah, hopefully I'll catch some glimpses one of these days. So when you look at the landscape, at times you think of Jurassic Park. At times you think about a lost planet, which many do consider Socotra being a good viewing point of what our planet looked like way, way back in the day. Because the island of Socotra has been separated by the continent so many years ago and everything formed or remained as it used to be. Just look at how the desert rose grows on top of the rock. It's simply remarkable. The bodies, the trunks are pretty much empty if you hit them. I don't know, maybe they hold water, not 100% sure, but just, I don't know, you can stop every 10 minutes somewhere and take photos, take videos, wonder about how everything formed over the decades, over the centuries. It's just unbelievable, check that out. Now the bad part is I have no way to charge the drone. I just have two batteries with me. I flew the drone a little bit yesterday, which we have seen in the previous footage, but trying to fly a little bit at the lagoon here and then keep it for the sand dunes that go towards the ocean and also a little bit when we go to a dragon tree forest. So you're gonna take some of that uh, red ink? Yeah. Right there. It's lipstick. Yeah, the dragon essence. They dragon use it, tree. They use it like this, and then they crush it. They become like a boulder. Yeah, put it on your lips, man. Yeah. <laughs>
during the rainy season this place is all flooded and when they trek to the lagoon they gotta use one of the sides you can tell the water marks left from when the water was running here but yeah the landscape is remarkable and the lagoon is gonna be just as remarkable I'm not gonna spoil it yet but you'll see here in a little bit and here we have it the lagoon with the beautiful Indian Ocean in the back. Superb. Super, super hot outside right now. And the source of the lagoon. And found the only dragon tree with a view towards the lagoon and towards the Indian Ocean. Check that out. This is incredible. Blue, the feeling behind my eyes. You stood out because you were in red. My intentions, I let you turn me violet instead. Summer high, met you in August, New York back. To Going back down, and this is the terrain that we have to face for about an hour until we reach the ocean. Yeah, at times it looks a little bit more difficult than it is, but yeah, it's just rocks, and you gotta be careful, you gotta go at a slow, slow pace. My cold apartment, distance sucks, but at least I'm still with you. White out skies, middle November, you and I, flights to wherever. I don't mind as long as it's with you. As long as it's with you. A little bit more until we finish with the abrupt terrain and then heading over to the ocean rushing a little bit to reach the dunes the marvelous dunes flowing into the ocean in a crowd and now I can't imagine me with any 